Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another AMCA video. Today we're going to be covering a new set of problems from the 2025 exam. And we're going to start off with problem number 25, the hardest problem. Michaela finds all the possible ways to draw a path in a 5x5 five five diamond shaped grid. Right, like the one shown here. Each path starts at the bottom of the grid, so right there, and ends at the top, so right here. Moving one unit northeast, so one unit this way, or one unit this way. She computes the area of the region between each path and the right side of the grid. So the outline of the path and the area between this right side, the shaded part, is going to be the area of that path. Two examples are shown in the figures below. What is the sum of the areas determined by all possible paths? Okay, so this question is essentially a area problem with a hint of combinatorics to it. So we need to compute the sum of all the possible areas of every single possible path that starts here and ends here. Okay, like in any combinatorics problem, let's we know we can't do this manually, right? Because every path has a different possible area. Like, see, this one has 11, but this one has 13. So first, let's just find the amount of different paths we can have. So we need an equation for that. And what would that be? It would be, let's switch to a different color. It would be 10 choose 5, right? And you may be asking why. So obviously, we need to take 10 steps to get from here to here, right? 5 this way, 5 this way, no matter the path. And you have to choose 5 of those steps to be northeast, right? Because if you don't take at least five northeast steps, you will not end up here. And you need to take at least, or no, you have to take five northwest steps because if you don't take north five northwest steps, you won't end up here, right? So that's why we're doing 10 choose five. You choose five northeast steps or northwest steps. So what would this be coming out to? So 252 possible paths. Well, now what? All the paths don't have the same area, right? Like one path can have 11, one path can have 13. We've discussed that. So how do we calculate the area of every single path? Well, this is the key step of the problem. You should realize that no matter what path you have, it will always have like a sister path, let's call it. So what do I mean by this? Okay, let's just take the first example they give us, right? You have this path here. But another possible path can be the inverse of this, like followed by the red line. But it can be this part, right? That could also be a path. And the key thing to realize here is both of these paths will always add up to 25, right? One path covers some A amount of area, let's say, right? And we can express this as 25 minus A. That's going to be the area of the path, its sister path. The path left over, right? And this means that A plus B, or the two paths, will always add up to 25. So we will always have a set of two paths that will add up to 25. So we can think of these as pairs that add up to 25. So if you have 252 total paths, and each of those is contained within a pair, how many pairs do we have? Well, that's 252 over 2, right? Which is going to be 126. So, in reality, we have 126 pairs, pairs, that always equal 25 each, because of this path, this um, inverse path ratio thing. So, now, we just have to multiply 126 by 25, right? You have 126 pairs that equal 25 each. So, 126... Oh. 126 times 25 and some quick mental maths we can do this as 100 times 25 plus 26 times 25 so what's 26 times what's 100 times 25 that's 2500 right the two zeros plus 26 times 25 we can just compute that 650 so 2500 plus 650 that is just 3150. So that's the total area of these, of the all possible paths, right? And let's scroll all the way up. And sure enough, answer is B fits the final answer we got. 3150. 
So let's recap this problem. So first we found the number of total possible paths, right? That's the key thing to do in any combinatorics problem. Find the total number of possibilities. And then we realized we can't manually compute every path, but that every path has an inverse path or a path that will fill in the rest of the area that it did not cover, which can be expressed by this set of equations. So we know that every two paths will add up to 25, right? So then we just found the number of pairs 126 and multiplied it by 25 to get our final answer of 3150. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the subscribe and like button and I have much more content planned for the future.